Over the years, Larry Page has made some solid purchases for himself and his family to live a comfortable life with his $110.7 billion fortune to enjoy after retirement. All of you must wonder how he spends his millions of dollars. The same I'm going to let you know here, and here are the 10 ways that Larry Page spends his millions. So let's get started. First up, real estate. Their first real estate purchase that Larry made was in 2005 when he bought a house in Palo Alto in California for $7.2 million. The Spanish-style house was built using parts of the church that were saved. Spread over 6,000 square feet, it is four bedrooms and a rooftop solar panel. In 2009, Page began buying land in the area to build a campus in the neighborhood. As the New York Post noted, some of his homes were rented out to tenants while he used some of the properties for relatives. Next up, expensive vacations. The former CEO was known to be on vacation in Fiji with his family and friends. During the second wave of the pandemic in 2021, Page arrived on the island of Fiji with his family and asked the government to ensure that no media gathered to broadcast his medical donations or his arrival in the country. He traveled to the island on his private jet, which also brought medical supplies, such as masks and gowns, to distribute to general staff and hospitals on the island. Next up, motorboats. Page bought them in 2011, and he owns a stunning 60-meter superyacht called Senses. Page acquired the yacht from businessman Sir Douglas Myers from New Zealand. As Boat International notes, the Sense was designed by Felipe Stark and can accommodate up to 12 guests at one time. It features six wave runners, a jet board, and three high-speed tenders. It was first built in 1999 and renovated several times before Page became an RV owner. Next up is private aviation. Larry doesn't just own a private jet. Together with Google co-founder Eric Schmidt, he owns a fleet of eight private jets. The founders bought their first private jet in 2005 for $15 million and spent another $10 million to accommodate 50 people. The fleet consists of a Boeing 757 and two Gulfstream Vs and a Dornier Alpha private jet. Alongside jet, Page also had a private terminal in San Jose International Airport worth $82 million in 2013. Next up is collection of cars. While many tech moguls are known to own supercars from major automakers like Lamborghini and Rolls-Royce, the former Google CEO has several cars in his garage. Page, a friend of Elon Musk, was impressed enough to buy a Tesla Roadster. The $200,000 car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 1.9 seconds and has a range of 620 miles. Page was still driving a dark blue $39,000 Toyota Prius when he drove to Google headquarters. If you have several cars, it becomes difficult to choose one to drive, isn't it? Next up, adventure games. The Page has taken a keen interest in adventure games, and if you're a billionaire, you can enjoy it without any tension of money. Since stepping down as CEO, Larry has taken classes from Virgin Group founder Richard Branson on hiatus. Already a fan of adventure sports, he's interested in kite sports. Branson invited Page and his wife to kite surf on their private Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands. The couple was seen enjoying the sea and trying adventure sports. Next up, investment in flying cars. A man who has his name signed to eight private jets and eight private terminals must surely love the sky a lot. And Page showed us his love for flying when he began to invest in flying cars. And the Google co-founder has invested in two different startups, Kitty Hawk and Opener. And they're both working on flying cars. And the two company CEOs compete to see who can amuse Page the most. Next up, investment in tech companies. Larry Page loves technology. He likes to promote tech companies. And that's the reason he invested several millions of his fortune in tech companies. One of them, Larry Page, is the founding investor of Planetary Resources, a space exploration company. That's a good way to spend your fortune by promoting technology, which will help us grow in the technical field. Next up are Google Camps. Page and Brin host a dedicated Google Camp for their employees in Sicily every year. Retreats take place annually at Verdura Resort, which features a private beach overlooking the Mediterranean Sea, a 200-foot infinity pool, and an 18-hole golf course. The resort also has seven restaurants, and a one-person stay is 2000 bucks a night. As Business Insider reports, private vias at the resort can offer private pools, dining areas, free spa treatments, and two golf carts. And lastly, we have philanthropy. Known for giving away thousands of dollars worth of Google stock to charitable causes, Larry has always funded charities close to his heart. 
In 2018, the co-founder donated a portion of his Google earnings to the Carl Victor Page Memorial Foundation, a charity named after his father. In 2014, he donated $25 million to the Ebola relief through the same foundation and Google. From making big purchases to helping people, Larry Page is one of the few billionaires who consistently invests his money in technology and the people that he loves. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video, so thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon for more content just like this. We'll see you all in the next one.